dedicated to the strength of the nation. Proudly, we hail. Yes, proudly, we hail, starring Raymond Walburn in The Name is Muldoon. United States Army and United States Air Force presentation. Now, here is your host, the well-known Hollywood showman, C.P. McGregor. Thank you, thank you very much, and greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your theater of stars. For the foremost talent of motion pictures, join us in plays we know you'll enjoy. Our star is that well-known character actor who goes everywhere, Raymond Waldburn. The title of our comedy, The Name is Muldoon. We'll have the curtain for Act One in just a moment, but first, here is Wendell Niles with an important message. Medical school graduates, here's important news for you. The U.S. Air Force Medical Service is offering commissions to medical school graduates about to enter internship training at approved hospitals. If you're eligible, you'll be commissioned as a first lieutenant in the Air Force Medical Reserve Corps. You'll complete your internship at a civilian hospital of your own choice with full pay and allowances. Get full details on the intern program today. Write to the Surgeon General, United States Air Force, Washington 25, D.C. And now, once again, our host, C.P. McGregor. The curtain rises on Act One of The Name is Muldoon, starring Raymond Walburn as Patrick Muldoon. For more years than most people could remember, Patrick Muldoon had been the officer on the beat in Colfax, that section of the industrial city filled with old brownstone rooming houses and good American people. Yes, the Colfax section has seen better days. Its once proud residential area having become a mixture of flats and warehouses. Muldoon had grown old with it. He knew everyone, and most everyone knew him. On the morning our story begins, we find him walking down the street. Well, Maggie, and how is the sweetest young wife in the bluff this fine, lovely morning? Oh, fine, Muldoon. I wanted to thank you for the darling rock. Oh, no, it wasn't much. And uh, and when is our, our baby coming, child? Oh, pretty soon, Muldoon. <laughs> and won't your father... Dad laid him, Muldoon. Oh, no, I've been uh, lucky, I guess. I haven't been calling the carpet for some time. <laughs> and now, don't you be walking up those stairs more than you have to. All right, Muldoon. Goodbye. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're the catcher, eh, Tommy? Yeah, Mr. Mulder. Will you ump for us, will you? Ump for you? Uh, well, uh, don't you know it's against the law to be playing ball in the street? Oh, but gee, Mr. Mulder, ever since we closed the bacon line... Oh, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Well, 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 let's, let's get going, then. Then you will, ump? Well, only for a dinner or two. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, what's the score, eh? Oh, they're leading 36 to nothing. 36 to nothing? <laughs> well, are you discouraged? Discouraged? Oh, no. Our sign ain't even been up to bat yet. Hey, come on, bring a man in here. This guy can't hit. Oh, he can, eh? <laughs> we got to put it in the warehouse. I saw you, Jason. I saw you. Hey, let's go again. New order of the warehouse. Come on, bring it out. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't you be running away. Don't you be running away. Oh, but they broke my window the hell in. Well... Why don't you stop them? My young friend, did you ever try to stop a handful of marble uh, dropping on the cement floor? No, listen, Flat, but don't get flippant with me. I was not getting flippant with you. Uh, uh, and you better not call me Flatfoot. I'd run you in. Oh, you will? Yes, huh? sir, I will. Well, I guess you don't know who I am. I am Davidson Schuyler, sir. Oh, yes, Mr. Schuyler. I, I know of your late aunt, yes. Uh, and she did many things for the city. The Schuylers have always been interested in civic affairs. And right now, I'm interested in the police department and the preservation of peace and order. Oh, but Mr. Schuyler, the, the kids in the neighborhood have no place to go. <laughs> Since you're fenced in your lot, the, the laddies have no place to meet. They have they have their club here, you know. Why, why I'm sure a gentleman of your standing would know how it is. I I don't know how it is. And please don't butter up to me now that you know who I am. Uh, Mr. Schuyler, um, for your information, uh, 
in 39 years and the fourth. Uh, never have I butted up to no one. And the name of Schuyler means no more to me than Brown or Schmidt or Jordan. It will probably less. Is that so, eh? Well, you better run those little vandals in. I have to have the evidence. Well, there's your evidence. There's my broken window. Uh, but uh, where is the baseball? Baseball? But this is preposterous. We're going to have this out before the commissioner, here and now. <laughs> As I was saying, Commissioner, this old man here, Muldoon, there he stood umpiring the game. And then after they break my window, he has the nerve to ask me for the ball for evidence. Well, it's all within the law, Commissioner Moriarty. All right, all right. Quiet, Muldoon. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Mr. Schuyler. Uh, uh, so, as I say, when you reach a certain age, you get crotchety, you get sentimental, you lose balance. This man should be retired. What would he do over in Colfax if he ever ran across a real crook? I've handled all to come my way in my time, I assure you, Mr. Schuyler. But that's what I'm saying. Your time's up. You've been around too long already. Well, now, well, now, you let me handle this, Mr. Schuyler. Mm. We can arrange things to everyone's satisfaction, I'm sure. Very well, Commissioner. I'm very glad that you brought this to my attention. Oh, not at all, Commissioner. Always glad to help iron out these little things as they come up. Fine. Right. Uh, no hard feelings, Muldoon? Oh, parish to talk, I mean. Oh, well, good <laughs> day, gentlemen. Well, Muldoon? Well, Commissioner, me, uh, the man has no heart. And for such a young fella, such a fat young fella, I should say. You shouldn't have got smart with him, Muldoon. The Schuyler name means too much. The aunt gave the city parks and monuments. But what has he given the city? Eddie. Yes, I know, I know. But he's young and coming into all the money and all the Schuyler interest. Well, what is he doing in Colfax, then? And a warehouse for his office. Well, they have interests all over the city. Don't ask me. Uh, Meldon, how old are you? Now, don't you be asking embarrassing questions, Commissioner. Uh, because I'll turn right around and ask you how old you are. Well, the retirement age is 65, Meldon. Uh, well, thank heaven. The retirement isn't compulsory. You'll be thanking your lucky stars yourself before long. Uh, I suppose you're right, Muldoon. Well, now, behave yourself, will you? Uh, all right, Commissioner. I didn't like you to give me trouble, Muldoon. Besides, Skyler means business. But tell me, how is the daughter? Your daughter, Commissioner. Oh, your daughter. Uh, uh, Maggie is fine. She's fine. I saw her only this morning. Ah, oh, I'm glad to hear it. I don't get down there often enough. Worry about her in that little flat. But the husband is just getting started, and of course, you know, they have their pride. Oh, I want to tell you, there's, nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with their home. Uh, and when the little oh, one comes... Do you comes, still uh, think it'll be a boy, Muldoon? The wife's positive of the little one will be a girl. It is a boy, Commissioner. Oh. <laughs> so help me, and I know, in all the years I'm walking the beat, I have never been wrong. Uh, Muldoon, if you're wrong this time, I'll have to retire you for misinforming expected grandfather. Oh, not a chance. Not a chance, Commissioner. Well, <laughs> I'll be going now. I, uh, I... Uh, I, I'd better have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with me, boys. Now, fellas, Bruce, Mr. Muldoon wants to talk to us. Oh, thank you, Tommy, thank you. Now, that is, and I don't mean to interrupt your club meeting, but uh, I was just down with the commissioner, and, and, and you'll have to quit playing baseball in the streets. Oh! I know, I know it isn't pleasant, but the commissioner was on his ear. I almost lost my job in the fracas. Well, maybe we can go back to the vacant lot. Oh, not a chance. That's who owns that lot. Quiet, Beanie. Well, anyway, Mr. Muldoon, we're grateful to you. You've always stuck up for us, kids. And to express our appreciation, we're going to make you an honorary schmoo. Well, no, 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 no. That, uh, that's mighty sweet of you, Tommy. <laughs> Just raise your right hand and repeat the following. <clears throat> I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To be a noble schmoo. To be a noble schmoo. And at all times to work relentlessly. And at all times to work relentlessly. To eradicate the foe of the schmoo, the schmo. To eradicate the foe of the schmoo, the schmo. Mm. Uh, dues are 10 cents a year, payable in advance. Oh, all right. Uh, here you are. Here you are. Uh, treasurer, make a note of it. Okay. And now, fellow schmoo, Mr. Muldoon. Your first assignment is to go to that schmo, Fatal Schuyler, and retrieve our baseball. No, no, no. Just a minute, Tommy. Just a minute. That I'll do. But uh, we must not uh, bear malice uh, in our hearts, Tommy. Uh, we, we get no place that way. 
Kindliness, Tommy. Kindliness and gentleness. That will win. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, is Mr. Schneider in here? Oh, Harold, I, uh, I, I guess he is, but uh, what did you want? Well, I, 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 I merely wanted to... Uh, I miss your, 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 your trembling, dear. Well, do, I, do I frighten you? Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, what are you doing here, Muldoon? Oh, Mr. Schuyler, uh, I wanted to inform you that the boys will play no more baseball in the streets. <laughs> and and I'll, I'll, I'll see to it myself. Yeah, well, you've changed your tune somewhat, Muldoon. The commissioner must have chewed your ears out for less. Uh, that he did. That he did. And I'm, I'm the first to admit it to you. Yeah. Uh, but now, Mr. Schuyler... Since I've given you my word, the boys won't play in the streets. Uh, uh, could they have the ball back? The answer is no. But, Mr. Schuyler, I've given you my word. That doesn't mean anything to me. Give them an inch and they take a mile. Ah, but you don't understand. Uh, they buy the ball out of their club dues. It isn't easy for them. Why should the answer is no? Now get out of here, Muldoon. Oh, if I were only not an officer of the law. Hey, now don't you hit me. I ought to let you feel the skin of me knuckles. Don't you wave your fist at me. You're dangerous. I'm going to file charges against you with the commissioner. <laughs> You're a fathead. Oh, but Commissioner... You're a fathead of an Irishman. Why did you swing on him? But I didn't swing on him. <laughs> uh, but I'd, I'd, I'd turn in my badge for just one punch. Well, Muldoon, I'm afraid you've lost the chance in your badge to boot. The Moriarty? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Muldoon. You're true. You've got 30 days under the law. Or, if you'd rather go sooner... <laughs> Till Fatso steps out of the door of the warehouse. No schmoke can do to a schmoo what Fatso has done to Mr. Muldoon. All right, let's check the ammunition. Eggs? Eggs. Filled? Petrified. How about tomatoes? Tomatoes. Right? Definitely. How about eggplant? One eggplant. Only one? It's the only juicy one we could find. Oh. Uh oh, here comes Mr. Muldoon. Well, now, what's going on? What's all this fruit doing here? Fellow schmoo, Mr. Muldoon, we're about to retaliate against Fatso Schuyler. A delightful thought, Tommy. A delightful, but no, 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 no. You mustn't do it, boy. But, Mr. Muldoon, we'll see. We'll let you direct the attack. You will? You will? Well, uh, I'm tempted. Yes, I am. I'm tempted. Here he tempted. comes now. Here he comes. Out of here, the door. Here, give me that eggplant. Here you are. Oh, heaven forbid. Heaven. Oh, Mr. Schuyler. Now, what do you want, Muldoon? Uh, I want to play catch with you, Mr. Schuyler. You want to what? Uh, play catch. Here, here. Catch this. All right, man. Forward. Charge. 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 It has duty for my story, The Name is Muldoon, starring Raymond Walburn, to bring you an important message from our government. Young men and women, here is your opportunity for a career in the world's greatest aviation organization, the United States Air Force. The Air Force offers you training and advancement in any one of 42 broad career fields. Careers are open to high school graduates in clerical administration, personnel work, and practically every other field found in any large business or aviation organization. After careful consideration of your preferences and your capabilities, the Air Force assigns you to a career field. You start right in on on-the-job training. Later, you may go to an Air Force technical school for training in your chosen career. You're on your way up. Assignment to an interesting job. Advanced training at specialist schools. Increase in pay and advancement to jobs with greater responsibility. And lifetime security through a sound retirement plan. Remember, you find your choice of many careers in the Air Force. Get details today at your nearest Air Force base or U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station. The curtain rises on Act Two of The Name is Muldoon, starring Raymond Walburn as Patrick Muldoon. Yes, the name was Muldoon. But after having led the neighborhood youngsters in the barrage of assorted fruits and vegetables, objective David Schuyler, Muldoon's name, unfortunately, was Mud. As our scene opens, we find him in the office of the Commissioner of Police, Moriarty. A very wild-eyed David Schuyler is present, and he, as usual, has the floor. 
What kind of a city is this getting to be, Commissioner, when a citizen steps out on the curbing only to be pelted by an eggplant? Yes, I, I, I'm very sorry, Mr. Schuyler. And in the hands of a police officer, no less. Oh, you have my sympathy, Mr. Schuyler. Well, and he tricked me. He told me to catch it. Yeah, we've gone all around this before, Mr. Schuyler. Well, I'm filing charges, Moriarty. I'm filing charges against Muldoon. And if he isn't off now, the force... Now, 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 don't you worry, Mr. Schuyler. He will be. Oh, you... Oh, no hard feelings, Mr. Schuyler. You see, Moriarty, the man's insane. Here I stand dripping with fruit and egg, and he says no hard feelings. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, uh, I think I'll open the window if you don't mind. Yeah, an open window doesn't help me. Well, where's that shower you were telling me about? Oh, oh, well, the sergeant will show you, Mr. Schuyler. Yeah, all right, but I want action on your own. Action! You no good, Irishman. Well, I was tempted, and that's all there is to it. I know, I know, but the children, you got them into trouble, too. Oh, they won't hold it against me. Once you schmoo, always a schmoo. What did you say? Ah, skip it. Besides, nobody was hurt. Uh, messed up a little bit. <laughs> Wasn't that Skyler a picture? Oh, walking a, a walking scrambled egg. Ah, <laughs> now, I don't think that's a bit funny, as if I didn't have enough on me mind. My daughter about to give me, 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 me fifth grandchild, and the wife and sister is to be another girl. I'll show you. Just let bygones be bygones. Ah, no, I'm sorry, Muldoon. No, Almost. You can hand over your badge this very minute. Ah, uh, no, you don't, Commissioner. I said hand it over. That I will not. You're incompetent to be wearing it. That's what you are. Incompetent, am I? Well, after 39 years, I like that. Hand it over, I say. I will not hand it over. <laughs> I know me rights. <laughs> there have been no criminal charges filed, no graft or collusion. I have 30 days under the law, Commissioner, and I am taking them. I, I stand on my constitutional rights. Ah, it's a sad state of affairs, Tommy. It sure is, Mr. Mulder. Friend, uh, did your pa, did your pa spank you, laddie? Spank me? No. No? Well, when I told him what happened, he said he wished he'd been there with a cantaloupe. Oh, good for him. <laughs> we ought to make him a schmoo. No. <laughs> He's got quite a ways to go yet. Ah, but I can't get over it. It was always so nice and tasteful uh, here in the neighborhood until Schuyler moved his office in that warehouse. Uh, you know, Tommy, I, I wondered about that. What? Mr. Schuyler has a whole building downtown, and he comes out here in the sticks. Uh, don't call him Mr. Schuyler. He's a small one, and don't forget it. Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy. I'm sorry, but I, but I, I wonder about that. Uh, what's he doing over here in the neighborhood, away from everything? That's strange, you know. Uh, and that, that aunt of his just, just, just passing along and leaving him all this money and, and... Hey, you know, I was thinking, maybe we ought to tell him. Uh, why don't you keep an eye peeled, Tommy, on, on things over there at the warehouse? And uh, we might just come up with something, eh? Well, Tommy, uh, did you find anything? Plenty. Uh, well, what happened? We watched the office in the warehouse all day yesterday. Yes, yes. Well, there was a painter there in the office all day with Fatso and the secretary. Things were plenty quiet until the painter went out to get a drink of water. Yes, go on, Tommy, go on. Well, then Fatso incriminated himself. Uh, well, 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 what, what's he doing? Storing contraband goods or something? No, it was worse than that. Well, is he running a bookie joint? No, worse than that. Well, what is he doing? He keeps kissing his secretary. Well, no, Tommy. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't blame him for that now. <laughs> She's a pretty little lady. Although, uh, how she can stand for that homely puss. Yeah, but only a schmo will kiss a girl. Oh, that's true. That's true, Tommy. But uh, still, uh, he's a single schmo. <laughs> no strings. He's unattached. And uh, uh, Did they say anything? Yeah. They kept talking about Westchester. Oh, that's a little town just over in the next state. And she kept saying... We shouldn't have done it, darling. We shouldn't have done it, darling. You, you know that's that's very interesting, Tommy. Yes, it is. I think I think the aunt was uh, was 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 up in Westchester just prior to the. I th Tommy, if my hunch is right, we're going to get your ball field back. Now you wait right here, and I'll I I got to make a phone call. Hold it, Tommy. I got to make a phone call. <laughs> How'd you make out? Tommy, me boy, uh, you're going to get your ball park back, not later, not later than tomorrow. Hot diggity dog! Yes, Maggie, what is it? Could you, could you come up here, please? Oh, why, well, yes, yes, my dear, I'll be right up. Oh, Tommy, Tommy, run home and have your mother call Commissioner Moriarty and tell him to come to his daughter's house at once. Uh, sure, uh, I, I'm coming, Maggie, I'm coming. Here. 
Well, I am too, my dear, but, but why haven't you called your I husband? Did. He's in the plant somewhere. They can't reach him. Besides, we didn't expect the baby so soon. Well, now, don't you be nervous, my dear. Don't you be... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm an old hand at this, I am. Now, no, 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 let's see, let's see. I, I've, I've got to get some hot water. Yes, yes that's it, hot water. Uh, keep cool, my dear, All keep right. cool. Come and collect it, like All me, right. you know. Come. Now, now, don't you worry. I know exactly what to do, my dear, exactly. Yes. Is that you, Nora? Well, call all the women in the block and come a-running up to Maggie's apartment. How is she, Madun? How is my daughter? Uh, your daughter is fine, Commissioner. But how can you leave until it's all... It's all over, Commissioner. Oh, glory be. And you, Madun, you... you did, did you... I, uh... <clears throat> I supervise the delivery, if that's what you're asking. Oh, sure I don't know how to thank you. Tell me, tell me, was it, uh, uh was it a girl, Muldoon? A girl? A girl? Is a Muldoon ever wrong, Moriarty? <laughs> then it's a boy! Uh, just, not just one boy, but, but two boys. Uh, you mean twins? Yes, Commissioner, now then. Is that incompetent? Oh, Meldon, Meldon, how can I ever repay you? You don't have to repay me nothing, Commissioner. Ah, but maybe I can get you back on the force. I am back on the force, Commissioner. <laughs> Skyler is withdrawing his charges and repudiating the allegations. Repudiating his allegations? Oh, sure, that's impossible. Commissioner, the dear lad loves me now. <laughs> Didn't you know? Oh, oh you're back. Hey, Muldoon, what are you doing back here? I came to get a tiny bit of information, Schuyler. Mr. Schuyler, if you please. All right, tell me, Mr. Schuyler, uh, who is this young lady here? Oh, David, what are we going to do? Well? Why, well, she's, uh, uh, she's my uh, secretary. Uh, your se well, she's also your, your wife, isn't she, Mr. Schuyler? Oh, David, he found out. Now, oh, now, no, don't get upset, dear. I mean, uh, Gloria. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you know she's my wife? Well, I happened to call a Justice of the Peace up in uh, Winchester. He's an old fool I used to beat at cribbage. Uh, uh, he, Mr. Schuyler, has let the cat out of the bag. Well, uh, uh, so what? Uh, so what if she is my wife? And what are you keeping it such a secret for, Mr. Schuyler? Oh, David, it's all over. We've been found out. Uh, does not all this secrecy, Mr. Schuyler, have something to do with the mysterious circumstances whereby your aunt... Well, there's nothing mysterious about it. Oh, no? Oh, I might as well tell you everything. All right. Just remember, though, that anything you say will be used against you. Well, it doesn't matter now. You see, my Aunt Bertha and her will, she, she didn't want me to marry for a year. She thought that I needed a year to, to find myself. <laughs> what an optimist. Oh, we're ruined. Uh, oh, so no. you, you jumped the gun, did you? And, and that, that invalidates the will, and you thought that by coming down here, you could conceal it. <laughs> David, we're ruined. There, there, my dear. There, there, there. Now, now, I don't like to see a pretty little girl crying. Uh, uh, what was your name, my dear, before you married this? this, this well, the words really fail me. I just... My yes. name was Gloria. Yes. Gloria O'Toole. O'Toole! Oh, oh, glory be. Skyler, uh, you're a better man than I thought you were. Well, uh, I tell you, I am a forgiven man. Oh, Mr. Muldoon. And I, I, I just might keep your secret to myself, Skyler, uh, if, if you were to do three or four little things. Oh, I'll do anything. Now, first, first, uh, dismiss the charges against me and repudiate your allegations. Why, oh, I'll be happy and to second, do that. Second, second, uh, give the boys back the ballpark until you've made definite plans to build. Why, I'll have that fence torn down right today. And third, I want you to put your influence behind the movement to provide playgrounds for the children uh, uh, to get them out of the streets of the city. Mr. Muldoon, I'll personally start the movement. And now, one final provision, Mr. Schuyler. <laughs> now, bend over. Bend over. I want to have the play I should have given you one swift kick in the seat of the pants. Hey, oh, hello there, Tommy. How are you? Oh, oh, well, my goodness. Oh, well, hello, Tommy. Hello, hello, ladies. How are you? Oh, say, say, what, what, what have you got on there, eh? Our baseball uniform. Aren't they neat? Oh, well. And look at the lettering. <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. The stratospheric skyrockets, eh? <laughs> what a name for the baseball team, eh? And let me tell you, Mr. Skyler put up a backstop. 
put in rubber home plates, glottis bases, and real bases, too, oh. and a catcher's mask. Oh, you've got to come and see oh, it. Oh, well, all right, Tommy, I will, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Mr. Muldoon. Yes, Tommy. What a great shrew you turned out to be. Well, thank you, Tommy. Thank you very much, yes. <laughs> The curtain falls in the final act of The Name is Muldoon. Our star, Raymond Walburn, will return for a curtain call after this timely message from Wendell Niles. High school graduates, before choosing any career, check up on the excellent opportunities which the United States Air Force offers you. Now you can actually chart your future step by step. You know exactly where you stand and what to expect of the future. It works like this. After you enlist in the U.S. Air Force, you're given special placement tests which determine your aptitudes and abilities. Next, you're interviewed by highly skilled career counselors who help you select a job for which you are best suited and have the best chance for success. Then you start a definite career plan, combining on-the-job training with technical schools and maximum use of the skills you've learned. At all times, your future is clear and assured. Learn how you may enjoy these advantages as an airman in the U.S. Air Force. Inquire at your nearest Air Force base or U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station. Now, once again, your host, C.P. McGregor, and our star. Making his first appearance in our theater is one of Hollywood's most beloved character actors, Raymond Walburn. Welcome, Ray. Thank you. Thank you very much, C.P. You know, I can't tell you how glad I am to have worked with your, you, you and your fine cast. Well, we're mighty glad that you could join us. Well, Ray, I guess every man, woman, and child in this country who goes to the movies has seen you on the screen at one time or another. Well, I don't mind admitting that I have been in show business going on too well. Let me see, it's about 43 years, and in motion pictures for 16, to be exact. And in that time, C.P., I've made, well, nearly 80 films. 80 motion pictures. Think of that. You know, I wish we could name all of them, which we can't, but let's give the title to a few of our most recent pictures. Well, now, let me see. Let me see now. There's, uh, there's Red Hot, Hot and Blue with Betty Hutton at Paramount, and there's Key to the City with Clark Gable at metro Golden mayer Fine pictures, both of them. Now, uh, how about the Bing Crosby film? Crosby figure? Oh, that's my latest release. It's called Riding High, from Paramount, of course. Of course. I think Riding High is one of the best pictures Bing Crosby has made. You're right, C.P., it really is, yes, sir. And, well, here we are talking about me. How about your plans for next week, for instance? Next week, Ray, and ladies and gentlemen, Pat O'Brien will be our star in a very hilarious comedy called A Man of Influence. Well, that certainly sounds fine to me. I'll be listening. Well, goodbye, C.P. Goodbye, Ray. <laughs> be sure to join us next week, ladies and gentlemen, when Pat O'Brien stars with us in A Man of Influence. Until next week, then, this is C.P. McGregor saying thanks for listening and cheerio from Hollywood. Raymond Walburn appears with the courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, which arranges for the appearance of all stars on this program. The script was by Rich Hall, with the music of Eddie Dunstetter. The program is transcribed in Hollywood for release at this time. Wendell Niles speaking.